we have an awesome opportunity to see a very special spectacle up in the sky coming across North America on April the 8th. I have heard of, of eclipses, you know, as a kid. I never thought I'd see one. And then when I saw it for myself, I understood. I understood what the hype is about. I've always photographed the moon and the sun in different settings. So when the, the eclipse happened in 2017, I was really excited. I, I was learning on, 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 the, on the fly. I kept on asking myself, if I can do this again, how would I do it better? These are made for telescopes and I just rigged it to my camera. It's a solar finder. And, and so what's really cool about this is you don't have to look at the sun to be able to, to tell what, where the sun is. These two little pinholes, when you line it up with the sun, it'll, it'll cast a light on the back uh, element here. When photographing totality, some of the settings that work for me are, I, I like to have a high aperture. It's going to make things a little bit sharper. Uh, there's, there's not gonna be a lot of room for uh, out of focus. F11, uh, F16, I use, in 2017, I used uh, ISO 1250 uh, at 500 of a second. One of the things that I learned in 2017 was some of the key moments during the eclipse. You want to get the beginning, middle, and end. The absolute middle part of the eclipse is what people call the diamond ring effect. There's just a little bit of flare and it looks like a diamond. To get the corona shot, what's really important is you want to have your camera steady. So a tripod is best, mainly because you're looking at a very tiny spot in, uh, in the sky. Most important thing I tell people is you really have to be uh, mindful of the safety. You have to have the right equipment. I made my own um, and, and so what's really cool about this is it's all handmade. Um, I use cardboard, uh, styrofoam, uh, and a sheet of filter that you can get pretty inexpensively uh, through a lot of retailers just take this off because during totality you'll be able to just rip this off see it you can take off your, your glasses and look at it without any danger it's a, it's all about the experience just being able to take your own picture of it those big scene images of, of people around you those, those are the ones that your iPhone will definitely get because of the lens is so small you can just do this you know and, and you'll be fine and photographing the, the eclipse that way. The other thing is um, these items can get very hot too because they're being looked at specific, uh, straight at the, at the sun. A good tip is you take a white towel or, or light color towel and you hang it over your, your, your equipment so that it doesn't get too hot. A big tip is for uh, anybody photographing this is just, just enjoy the moment, you know. Enjoy the people you're you're around with. You're sharing an experience that you, you'll remember forever.